Okay, I'm back. I added some more. Um, I'm just going to stir it up. Got a splash on my ring. Okay. This works a little better if you use like a flat paper plate or something, but I don't have any right now, and I kind of want circles. It's really a fun background to use for really anything. It works really well for like ocean scenes. See the bubbles. Let me focus the camera. It's really fun to do these and then draw like ocean creatures or otters or something inside them. I'm just going for some standard bubble art today on this page. probably do a couple more but that's how you do this you can wait for the other bubbles to pop and they'll leave like little rings where they popped oh, sorry my video it's kind of unfocused there it goes so it's really easy to do and really fun to work with you can do multiple colors um i like to also when this is done flick some paint onto it um, so you could do that with like a, a dry brush. You just load it up with paint and water and this, I just tap it like this and the paint splatters onto the page. So it gives it another dimension tech, um, texture with paint. Um, food coloring is really easy to use. Um, a lot of kids paints kind of look like food coloring. Um, you can do it with just some dish soap and some watercolor tube paint squeezed into it with a lot of water. Um, it just is missing the glycerin that's in bubbles. So you can always add a little bit of a, a drop of glycerin or two to help make bubbles a little better. I think I first started doing this when I was in high school. Did this whole um, frogs, tree frogs, with this in the background. It was really nice. It's probably one of the better ones I've ever done. You see how we're getting some overlap and some really fun popping splatters. It's just going to be really fun to work with this page when I decide to ever sketch on it. Or it just looks really nice like this too. If you're not really in the mood to sketch or paint, this is a fun activity that kind of gets you in the mood to work. Especially if you have art block. Do whatever you can if you've got art block. Because... A day without working is a day wasted, in my opinion. You want to keep getting better and stronger. Um, and teach your hand to draw. That's the whole point. You're building up muscles. And muscle memory. For your hand. Oh man, that one was really cool. The big bubble shattered when it popped and sent all of these cool sprays out. Let's try to adjust so you can see it better. There it goes. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Take breaks when you can. Have some fun. 
with your art. I hope you enjoyed this week's video of how to make bubble art. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. And um, we'll be doing some fun new videos next week. I'm, um, I'm planning on teaching y'all some fun techniques on how to make backgrounds, how to um, do washes and textures and all kinds of fun stuff. I hope you have been enjoying these videos. Make sure you like and subscribe and then go follow me on Instagram. I post every day or I try to. If I haven't, it's probably because I'm sick. I do get sick quite often. Um, but I try to be on there as much as possible. And I'll be making videos every week from now on. So, I um, will see you guys next week. Thanks for stopping in and watching this week's video. See ya.